Hey there and welcome back. We're on element two, the technician exam, sub element eight, Bravo. We're talking about satellites. So what telemetry information is typically transmitted by satellite beacons? That is the health and status of the satellite. What is the impact of using excessive radiated power, effective radiated power on a satellite uplink? And that would be blocking access by other users. So you don't want to use too much power. You're talking about a satellite that's in direct and plain view. Uh, you might not be able to see it with your eye, but it's line of sight. It's not going to take a lot of power. It's amazing what a watt could do. Which of the following are provided by satellite tracking programs? Well, a satellite tracking program is going to give you the maps and the real-time position of the satellite track over Earth, the time, the azimuth, and elevation of the start, the maximum altitude, and end of a pass, and the frequency, apparent frequency, apparent frequency of the satellite transmission, including effects of Doppler shift. And Doppler shift, if you remember from your science classes, the old ambulance going down the road, Starts off with a high pitched as it's coming at you, turns to normal as it's passing by, and then the frequency falls as it's going away. Well, that is even more pronounced in satellites. They're traveling at 25,000 miles per hour. So, this is one program. Uh, you can go to AMSAT to go check out all the information you might want to know about satellites. AMSAT Droid is free and can be downloaded. That's what I used to use. Um, back in the day, I never got one on my iPhone. I have a spare Android that I keep around for ham radio apps. So, all of these choices are correct. What mode of transmission is commonly used by amateur radio satellites? Well, guess what? There's a satellite for just about everything out there. There's SSB, single sideband, there's FM, and there's CW and data. So all of these choices are correct. And as a technician, you'll probably be sticking with the FM satellites to begin with. Uh, some of these other ones fall into some different bands. What is a satellite beacon? It is a transmission from a satellite that contains status information. Which of the following are inputs to a satellite tracking program? And these are the Keplerian elements, or KEPS for short. If you notice that this one updates the KEPS directly from the web or from a file on an SD card. So I always updated it from the web. Easy peasy. What is Doppler shift in reference to satellite communications? And that is an observed change in signal frequency caused by relative motion between the satellite and the Earth station. Now this is if you believe that the Earth is actually round or a, a, a sphere, but as that satellite's coming around at 25,000 miles an hour, as the satellite's coming towards you, it's compressing the RF signal. So that RF signal is going to appear higher than the set frequency. So if you're on 146 megahertz, as it's coming towards you, it may start out at 146 megahertz plus 10 kilohertz. Then as it starts to come over you, the relative motion is going down to zero. Then as it's above you, it's going to be right on 146. And then as it's passing by, it may fall down. As it's going away, it's lengthening that wavelength, so the frequency is dropping. So it is an observed change in signal frequency caused by relative motion. Because that thing is booking it. What is meant by the statement that a satellite is operating in UV mode? Well, that is going to be the satellite uplink. That's the first number. is in the 70 centimeter band. That's... UHF and the downlink is in the two meter band that's VHF that is the only correct answer for number eight number nine what causes spin fading of satellite signals and that is the rotation of the satellite and its antennas and you you'll experience it most of those that use the beams they don't hear it as much because the beam is going to gather a little bit more of that signal 
What is an what is a LEO satellite? A low Earth orbit. That's not a law enforcement officer. It's a low Earth orbit. So there are two that have LEO in them down here. It's not low energy. It is low Earth orbit. Question number 11. Who may receive telemetry from a space station? Anyone. You don't need a license to listen to the radio. You only need a license to transmit. And the last one, question 12. What, which of the following is a way to determine whether your satellite uplink power is neither too low nor too high? And that would be that your signal strength on the downlink should be about the same as the beacon. So what you're hearing on the downlink should be about the same as the beacon. You do not want to overpower a satellite at all. It's line of sight. It's right there. All righty, guys. This is Satellites. We'll be back for some more stuff here after this. If, if this is helping you out in any sort of way, please like the video and hit subscribe to support the channel.